Dafyomi Tractate Vomitsia, page 98, part 2, with the words Har Rabbi Meir, Damar, etc. The Gemara elaborates this Brita is in accordance with the opinion of Rabbi Meir, who says that, that second tithe is property belonging to the Most High. In other words, the owner has only the right to eat the food, and therefore he may not let his cow consume it. Whereas that Brita is in accordance with the opinion of Rabbi Huda, who says that the second tithe <clears throat> is non sacred property. The Gemara asks, What are the circumstances of a cow that threshes tithes? <clears throat> tithes are usually separated only after the produce has been threshed and collected into a pile. The Gemara answers, This is referring to a case where the separation of tithes performed by the owner preceded the separation of truma at the stage when the produce was still on the stalks. The Gemara further asks, and according to the explanation of, that the Brita that permits feeding this produce to one's animal is in accordance with the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda, in other words, that this is referring to the second tithe, how is the consumption of this tithe permitted before it enters Jerusalem? But one is required to bring second tithe within the city wall. The Gemara answers, this is referring to a case where he threshed inside the wall of Beit Pagi, the outer wall of Jerusalem, Bethphage. The outer wall of Jerusalem, which enclosed a, sim- a semi-rural suburb. If you wish, say a different answer to the original contradiction between the Raitot. This is not difficult. Here, the ruling in this Raita is, is stated with regard to a definite tithe, which may not be fed to a cow. Whereas there, the ruling in that Raita is stated with regard to a doubtfully tithed produce, the Mai, from which one is required to separate tithes by rabbinic law. The Gemara comments, now that you have arrived at this answer, in other words, that this Brite is referring to the Mai, the contradiction between the ruling of this Brite concerning Truma and the ruling of that Brite concerning Truma is also not difficult, as one can likewise say, that here the ruling in this Brite is stated with regard to definite truma, and there the ruling in that brayta is stated with regard to truma of demai. The Gemara asks, granted with regard to demai of tithe, there is such a concept as the sages decreed that one will separate the tithe from undoubtedly tithe produce. But with regard to demai of truma, is there truma of this kind? But isn't it ton of brayta? He, being Yochan the high priest, had also annulled the declaration of tithes, Deuteronomy 26, uh, 12 through 19, due to fear that the agricultural halachot were not being properly observed, and the declaration that one has separated his tithes in accordance with the Torah law would therefore be false. And he decreed that one must separate the mind of tithe from the produce of one who is unreliable with regard to tithes. He issued this decree because he sent messengers throughout all of the borders of Eretz Yisrael and saw that they would separate only the great Shuma Elohon, not tithes. It is clear from here that Jews were not suspected, suspected of neglecting the midst of Chuma, and therefore there was no need to separate Chuma from Demai. Rather, the Gemara offers a slightly different answer. It is not difficult... Here, the ruling in this Brita is stated with regard to definite truma of the tithe, separate by Levite, from his tithe and given to priest. There, to, to a priest, there, the ruling is that the Brita is stated with regard to truma of the tithe from Demai. The sage has raised a dilemma. The sage has raised a dilemma before Sheshit. If the animal is eating from the produce, it was threshing, and it was excreting diarrhea. What is Yalach? The Gavor the, the, the the explains the size of the dilemma. Is the reason that one must let the animal eat because the food is good for it? And this produce is evidently not good for it, and therefore the animal should be muzzled to prevent it from him harm. Or perhaps, 
The reason for the prohibition against muzzling is that it sees food and suffers when it cannot eat. And this one also sees food and suffers when it cannot eat. Rav Sheshit said to them, You learned a bright uh, that provides the answer to your question. Rabbi Shum ben Yochai says, One who can bring vetches and hang them for it, as vetches are better for it than anything. One can learn from the bride to that the reason is because the food is good for it. The Gemara affirms, learn from the bride that this is so. A dilemma was raised before the sages. 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 What is the halacha with regards to the possibility that a person can say to a Gentile, muzzle my cow and thresh with it? Do we say that when we state the principle that speaking to a Gentile and questioning him to perform for oneself a task forbidden to a Jew is prohibited by rabbinic decree, this manner applies only to Shabbat when performance of labor is a provision that retails, entails stoning, but with regard to muzzling, which is merely a regular provision by giving an ins- instruction of this kind to a Gentile is not prohibited, or perhaps there is no difference between the prohibitions of Shabbat and the other prohibitions in this regard. Tashima. The Gemara suggests coming here a proof from the aforementioned Brahita. A Gentile who threshes with the cow of a Jew does not violate the prohibition of do not muzzle. As one can infer as follows, it is a transgression of Torah law. And he does not transgress, but... There is a prohibition here by rabbinic law. The Gemara refutes this argument. This is no proof, as by right, the Brightus should have stated that there is no prohibition here either. But since the Tana of the Brighta taught in the latter clause that a Jew who threshes with the cow of a Gentile does violate the prohibition he taught the first clause in a similar style with the phrase but he does not violate the prohibition if so one cannot reach any conclusions from the wording of the writer tashima the Gemara suggests again come in here as they want to se- as they sent to shmuel's father a halachic inquiry with regard to these oxen